Okay, so I finally had a recording I was happy with, and then I realized that I didn't hit the record button. So uh, this is Chemical Warfare, a Wolfenstein mod I did uh, when I was 14. Uh, that's the title screen. It's uh, level one of... It's a shot from level one of episode four of the original Wolfenstein with the NES font um, over it. Uh, and this is based on episode four, which is called A Dark Secret um, of the original Wolfenstein, which I always felt was kind of like a dark horse because it didn't have like a clear theme. Um, the other episodes, you know, like like you knew what you were doing exactly. And for like, I don't know, it, it just doesn't really quite come together or make sense. But I, I was always like fascinated by it. Um, and so I think that's why I chose to like, you know, uh, do a, a remake in quotes of it. Um, anyway, I'm going to be saving this because uh, even though it's a game that I made, um, and even though I'm playing on medium, I still die. And uh, <laughs> I have this this thing where I made the guards stronger, which makes it really ludicrous on the hard difficulties because you just keep shooting forever and ever and they never come down. And there are so many guards, it's just not very fun. Like, I kind of dropped the ball there. Um, I did make the knife stronger, which I guess was my way of balancing it out, but um, <laughs> there's the problem where you try to stab guys and, you know, you get shot in the face because that's what happens when you can't switch quickly enough from the knife back to the other weapon. Anyway, this is uh, the first level, which was um, done much earlier, or, you know, like a couple years earlier, when I was maybe 12 or 13. It was part of another project, and I imported it into this editor um, that wasn't the regular editor I used called FlowEdit, which was the only Windows editor at the time, and it was really buggy, and somehow it corrupted <laughs> all of the maps except for this one. So I exported this one and it became the first map of the the next thing that I did. Um, that texture there is what I call cornfield. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be. Um, it's from the uh, lost episodes of uh, Spear of Destiny, which is like sort of this bastardized sequel, unofficial sequel made of Spear of Destiny, and it's it's really bad. The, the levels are terrible, and it, it looks really bad, it, yeah. Um, it was just, you know, a cheap cash-in, not made by id software. Um, but yeah, uh, this was made, so this was made in 2002, um, and I guess, like, the most well-known Wolfenstein mods at the time were around like 1999-2000. Um, one was called Beyond Wolfenstein, which, you know, got to a certain point of popularity and then got a cease and desist because it had this problem that a lot of Wolfenstein mods had um, that, like, they didn't think about that the game was going to be modified. They stored data in a bunch of... Um, different files uh, id did when they were making this game like they accounted for that when they did doom because they made wad files so if you make any changes you just include the extra wad file and and you still have to you know have the original wad to play doom but this like if you make one change to the file you have to include a new file so any like you know the music the the graphics, anything. If you make one change to all of those files, you like have brand new files, which means it's, you know, basically freeware, um, which is a copyright violation. So, um, so yeah, the other one at the time was, um, yeah, Beyond Wolfenstein wasn't good, but it got a lot of attention because it had a lot of source code changes. You had new weapons and stuff, and that was that was big at the time. You know, people wanted to see more. Um, but Toten Graber was like sort of like Spear of Destiny. It was a bunch of consecutive new levels, and it had like more of a story. I I, I wasn't like a huge fan of it, but um, I was a fan of his earlier add-on that he made called Conflict in the Fatherland, which was just a uh, just maps for Wolfenstein. Um, 
but um oh i like this room guys stuck behind those plants i don't know how they got there <laughs> but they're there um but yeah uh so i, I wasn't a, a huge fan of token graver but this came out in 2002 which is a little after that and i think it was you know it didn't have a lot of extra coding features and stuff. It just looked like Wolfenstein. And I think that's why probably most people didn't play it and weren't too interested in it. Anyway, uh, stay tuned.